<laughs> looks glowy in the dark. If you follow me on uh, my social media, you will know what's going on. But I'm gonna watch this off just because you know I just wanted to do it just to do it, but I didn't really you know want it on. So I'm about to wash it off and I decided, hey, let's film because I never filmed me, you know, washing my makeup off. And I have my uh, LED lights on. But these pigments I have are like neon pigments, so that's why it looks very much glowy. But I'm gonna just show y'all how I wash off my makeup real simple and easy, honey. So let's get into it. Hey y'all, we about to wash this makeup off, period. And the first thing that you wanna do is get you either a napkin, paper towel, toilet paper, whatever, and you just wanna get some type of oil. Now this is for if you do not have any more makeup wipes, like in my case. And again, sorry about the lighting, you already know about this bathroom situation, but you know it's definitely better than the previous video in here, but that's neither here nor there. But you just want to go ahead and take that oil, you want to put it on a napkin, and you're going to rub that oil all over your face, okay? Like you about to go in the oven, honey. You want to rub that oil all over your face, and I just want y'all to watch how easy this takes off eyeshadow, y'all. But you just want to rub it all over your face, get it in real nice and real good. I definitely, definitely. Ooh, look at how it's a go there. I didn't get it to not play with you. Got the Crisco Ur on your face. But listen, y'all. I definitely recommend if you have, you know, a washcloth that you don't mind like getting makeup on, to definitely go ahead and wet that and then use that to wipe off your face but if not you can either go ahead and rinse your face off or just wet a napkin or a washcloth and go ahead and wipe off wipe off the oil i like i said i do suggest a washcloth because it will just help get most of the product off so you won't have to really go in with two washes but me i usually just go in with two washes anyway so it don't even matter but this is just for gross giving you different options on which you can choose from honey okay okay So now that you done wiped all that off, you're going to go ahead and take your cleanser of choice. I am using my product, my Get Dice product per my um, black charcoal. Well, I don't even know what the name is yet, but it's a black charcoal um, cleansing foam. And I'm definitely going to do a video on how this cleared up my skin. But I just put it in soap form. I redid the soap. That's neither here nor there. I'm not about to go in detail all about it right now. But you just want to go ahead and, you know, rub your cleanser of choice all over your face. Definitely get those eyes because messed up. What, girl? I cannot talk today. Mascara can be very much stubborn and sis be in the way. But you just want to go ahead and really rub that all in your face. You know your cleanser is going to be turning brown because you know your makeup is brown. But once you go ahead and do this, you just want to go ahead and wash your face, honey. Wash this soap off. And like I said, you'll be able to tell from your own skin by looking if you need to do another cleanse or not. I always just cleanse twice anyway, but I just, you know, did not show that in the video. And afterwards, you just want to go ahead. I usually take a washcloth and, you know, try to get the rest of that stubborn mascara off. But like I said, my sisters want to be stick on there. Like, how the niggas be stuck on me? <laughs> Stop playing with But, um yeah so you're gonna see how like with mascara when you rub the top eye it just goes to the bottom and look like somebody just punched you in your eye so what you're just gonna go ahead and do and you will see is you're gonna go ahead and take that or and you're gonna put that or where that mascara is and then just wipe it off with the washcloth and then sis i be good as new if you want to go ahead and take the oil and put it all on your eye to get the mascara off go ahead and do so but you know sometimes that's the beginning of my eye a lot and i don't be having time to be trying to use that words my eye up girl because this is not that but once you do that you're gonna go ahead and dry your face and then we're gonna go ahead and put on some moisturizer and y'all gonna wait and see that turn
and now your face is finally clean looking fresh looking good and then yeah you just want to go ahead and do the little hype dance hey uh, uh, get it hey get it hey get it hey hey hey, hey. So I'm gonna stop playing like you know that refreshing feeling when your face is just free of makeup and we're just gonna go ahead and put on your moisturizer of choice so right now I just use Sarah Bay the um, moisturizing one and I use the heavy cream because you know I'm working on my own you know moisturizer right now but for right now this is what I use you know it doesn't break me out it has done me very much well you just want to put that sis all over your face and then just go ahead and put on you know your lip balm of choice lip gloss you're gonna see me apply my lip Plumper that has not dropped yet, but it will dry real, real soon, sister girl. And then after that, your face is fresh and good and clean. Go ahead and proceed with your skincare as you do and as you should. Cause my lip gloss is popping. My lip gloss is cool. All the boys be talking and they just be at the school. Don't forget to tie your hair up or do whatever with your hair. Like, do not, honey girl. Not put enough on your hair to protect that hair. Like, protect it with something. I'm just gonna be putting mine up in a bun because I'm not going to sleep quite yet. But you know, I just it was giving me a little headache. So I just go in here to put my little sister girl up in a bun. Edges all you know just looking amazing but listen thank you guys for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe and see you guys in my next video mm -hmm.